right people so we're back here in the backyard made myself a little trellis just out of some recycled material on the property nothing fancy but it'll work picked up this honeysuckle plant they said it should be good to attract hummingbirds what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna let it grow up a little bit more and then I'm gonna train it to grow up this trellis here this mud area is where my fire pit used to be so I'm trying to let the grass grow back in have this plant fill in that area grow up the trellis bring a little bit more color to the property so the sunnysuckle plant is pretty cool. It's gonna get up pretty big depending on how much I wanna trim it up. They said during the winter time and the fall time, it produces the orange flowers on it. So that's what will attract all the hummingbirds. Right now it's a little distressed since I just put it in the ground, but it's, as you can see, it's real viney. So I'm just gonna train this thing to grow up this trellis here. I'll probably throw in some extra pictures or something that I see on Google just to give you guys a better idea of what it looks like as a mature bush. Like I said, you can cut it down as much as you want. You can let it grow as much as you want. So I'm going to maintain it just enough to cover this whole trellis and then we'll be good to go. So then I picked up two of these chastity trees. It's a Daytona Heat Petty Blue. They produce a nice blue purplish color flowers on it. Uh, these things can get pretty big if you don't maintain them. I believe it says it could get up to, uh, let me see here on this paper, it says 6 to 10 feet high and about 10 feet wide. So I gave it about a 6 foot area in between this and the trellis on each side. You can see the little, uh, looks like little berries, flower type things on them. That's what's going to turn a bright bluish purple color. So these are going to look really cool here in the backyard once they get bigger. So I'll also throw up a picture of a mature tree just to give you guys an idea of what it looks like. I think it's going to look really cool back here, having a, a bluish purple flower on each side, the orange flowers in the middle, and then over here by my rocket stove, I believe those are going to have white flowers on them. So once all these things bloom, it's going to look really cool and give the backyard a lot of color. All right, people, comment down below. Let me know what you think. I know I probably could have spread them out just a little bit more, but like I said, I'm going to maintain them. It's going to be a while before they even get that big. Hopefully the dogs don't destroy them, so i got to figure out a way to put something around them. So I'll be honest, when I planted these banana trees in my other video, the dogs got to one of them. They just chewed the leaves off of it. It still has the root system, so I went in and I put some chili powder all the way around it, and they haven't been near it since. So I may need to go to the store and pick up more chili powder for these other plants, but it's going to look pretty cool. This will be the back side of the shed. I have my fence here, banana trees on one side, all those other plants and bushes on the other side. It's gonna be pretty awesome. All right, so now I'm in my garden. I added a few more things to my garden, some extra berries. Check this out. All those boxes, they're blueberries and blackberries. So this one right here is the smallest one. You can barely see it, it's just a stick. Then I picked up these over here. They're a little bit more mature. And right there, so I have three blueberry bushes here and if we come over here these are my blackberries from last year those are doing really well that one and this one and then I found that little guy in this box over here so I uprooted it and planted it over here so hopefully it survives it's this tiny little thing but now I'm gonna have three blackberries and three blueberry plants and yes, I'm well aware these will get big as well. It's about maintaining your property, people. I'm not just going to let it get out of hand like this property over here next to me. I like my stuff looking good out here, so I'm going to maintain everything and make sure it all stays looking good. Hopefully it starts producing because that would be awesome having... I'm going to have grapes, blueberries, blackberries, peaches, apples, uh, crab apples, mulberries, bananas, all sorts of stuff on the property, people. That's freaking awesome. I'm excited. So Jason just texted me and said he's on his way down today. So we'll probably end up going live on my channel tomorrow. Uh, Matt's inside editing one of his videos, but I'm sure once he's done, he'll come out here and help me out. I had a couple of comments just saying Matt's lazy. He never does anything. Just keep in mind, people, you only see small parts of my day. He does do stuff around here. I don't like when people say that kind of stuff, but it is what it is. It's the internet and people want to talk. So I'm excited to have Jason come down here. We're going to get this stuff done. 
this is a couple of months in the making. We've been planning this stuff out. We went from wanting to buy a shed, to building it, to buying, to building. We're gonna build it and we're gonna build back better. Just kidding, people. I don't follow that slogan.